Looking for a meat-free main meal that doesn't taste like a boring old salad? Well, have I got the dish for you. Let's make this beautiful eggplant parmigiana on the One Pot Chef. First things first, I've got two large eggplant or aubergine, depending on where you come from in the world. And all I've done is I have simply cut them into thick rounds about one and a half centimetres or just over half an inch thick. And we're just going to set those aside for a moment. Next, in a bowl, I've got three quarters of a cup of dry store-bought breadcrumbs. And to that, I'm going to add in two teaspoons of mixed Italian dried herbs. One cup of freshly, finely grated Parmesan cheese. And a little bit of pepper. And then just simply mix this all together to combine. So we're going to start by crumbing the eggplant. So what we do is I've got a bowl of two eggs, which I've just whisked up lightly with a couple of tablespoons of water just to make the eggs a little runnier. And we're going to take a piece of eggplant and just dredge it in the egg mixture, shake off any excess, and then just dump it into the crumb mixture. Just give it a good toss, making sure it's all coated. You might have to pat some on there and here and there. And then simply continue on with the rest. So that's the eggplant coated. Now don't panic if it's not absolutely 100% perfect looking because they never will be. It doesn't really matter because they're going to get covered in sauce and cheese anyway. I've got a large frying pan and I've just put enough oil in there to cover the base of the fry pan. We're going to shallow fry the eggplant pieces and all we're going to do is just drop them in and we're going to cook them in batches for about two minutes a side or until they're golden on the outside. Once they're lovely and golden on the outside, we can just transfer them onto a plate lined with some absorbent paper towel and this will absorb any of the excess oil. Now we can start assembling. So I've got two 500 gram jars of tomato pasta sauce and I'm just going to pour about half a jar over the base of a large baking dish. And just using the back of a spoon, we're just going to spread that out all over. Now make sure before you put the sauce in that the dish is lightly greased. I just sprayed it with a bit of cooking oil, but a little bit of butter over it will be fine. That just stops everything from getting stuck on. Next, arrange half of the eggplant pieces into the dish and we're just going to spoon over some more of that sauce. Sprinkle over some grated mozzarella cheese. Then simply repeat with the remaining eggplant pieces. And this is ready to go into the oven. Preheated oven, 180 degrees Celsius, about 360 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the sauce is bubbling and the cheese is melted. And here we have our completed eggplant parmigiana fresh out of the oven. I've just scattered over some fresh basil leaves and this is ready to go. All you need is some steamed vegetables or a fresh salad on the side and you've got a fantastic weeknight meal. Time for a taste. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> the eggplant is beautiful and tender and with the cheese and the sauce that is just absolutely delicious. Even the meat eaters are going to love this one. Well I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to check me out on social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and of course my website onepotchefshow.com. And until next time. See you later. The magic of this recipe is its simplicity. Using a few basic ingredients from the cupboard and some fresh ingredients like the eggplant, it's really not that complicated to put together. And you can adapt it easily by using different pasta sauces, you can change up the cheese, you can add extra herbs and spices to the crumb mix. There are so many options on this, you can really adapt this to make this suit pretty much any flavour palette you can find.